flash flood watch issued for our entire viewing area until tomorrow afternoon. The remnants of Patricia actually making their way toward us, going to give us plenty of rainfall this morning and this afternoon and evening. There's a live shot I 10 at Old Spanish Trail up in Slidell. You can see uh, rainy conditions up there, the camera courtesy of the DOTD. Be careful if you're going out on the roads. We got heavy rainfall around the area, some of that blinding rain, especially on the North Shore this morning. As you look at the big picture, you can see around us, you see the reds and yellows, the heavy rainfall falling. But I want you to notice down in the bottom left portion of your screen, that is a look at that low pressure area, the remnants of Patricia. This is actually going to be moving off toward us as we head through the rest of this afternoon and evening. So expect more rainfall even as we go into the afternoon and evening, an additional four to five inches possible. Some rain falling on the south shore still, and all of that is pushing off toward the north. Hammond, Covington, Mandeville, and off towards Slidell. We just saw those cameras seeing some rainfall this morning. Notice some of the estimates that we've seen already. Uh, as far as the rainfall has fallen here, just south of Laplace, about four inches uh, there. Luling had a report of about four and a half inches, and uh, just west of Luling there, even a report of about 5.4 inches. So the estimates coming in uh, for this entire system were about four to seven. So we've actually reached that already in some spots. So we'll definitely get those numbers. Four to seven inches across the area are going to be likely now. We're already seeing it, but could even top that up to about seven or eight, even nine in some isolated spots. I wouldn't be surprised later on this afternoon and evening when that second batch of rainfall moves in if we do surpass about eight or nine inches in some areas. Flash flood watch until uh, tomorrow afternoon because of it. There is going to be that risk as the rain continues to fall over the same areas. We could see some ponding. We could see some flash flooding. Also, a coastal flood watch uh, until tomorrow morning. That's because the tides will be one to two feet higher than normal with that persistent east southeast wind later on today at uh, even size about 20 to 25 miles per hour. Temperatures won't rise too much, still in the low to mid 70s. Highs only getting into the upper 70s today. And we're already seeing those winds out of the east, mainly at about 15 to 20. But expect those to shift out of the east southeast when that low pressure moves a little bit closer later on today. This is the big picture here. You can see all that rainfall to the southwest still as this low will continue to push toward us. We can expect the rain chances to continue to increase. The model, of course, is going to be very active. We're seeing the rainfall initiating pretty well in this model. And as we push this forward, notice around noon, still some moderate rainfall. I do think in the next hour or so, I would say between 1030 and maybe 1230, we'll see a little bit of a break from the heavy rainfall, maybe just some light to moderate at that time. But then afternoon, around 1 or 2 o'clock, more heavy rainfall is going to be pushing in. This is 430. We're seeing those reds and yellows. We'll continue to see that even into 730. So another round of heavy rainfall later on as that low pressure gets a little bit closer. So those areas that are already at about four or five inches could get up to about eight or nine inches later tonight. Now, good news, at least after midnight, it looks like the rainfall chances will start to diminish. We'll still see some light showers, but it's not going to be anything that's going to add up inches of rain. By tomorrow afternoon, we'll keep that rain chance high for the morning, but by the afternoon, we'll decrease it to about 40 or 50 percent. Notice that spin as that low pressure makes its way across the area. By Tuesday, it looks like our weather will really start to improve. Highs today staying in the upper 70s because of the cloud cover and rainfall. Then tonight, upper 60s, North Shore, low 70s on the South Shore. Take a look at the seven day forecast. Of course, the rain chance high today, 90%. That will continue into the afternoon and evening and early tomorrow. By tomorrow afternoon, things start to improve. Isolated chances on Tuesday. Front moves through Wednesday. Some cooler temperatures going into next weekend.